All right, so we're almost done with our users form. However, like I said in the last video, we need to do something with password here before we even try it out. So let's hop back over to Aptana. So let's hop back over to Aptana, and uh, we need to go over to queries.php, and we need to check something here. We need to make sure that uh, if we're going to edit password, that uh, something was actually set for password. So let's do this. Underneath the uh, last here variable, let's do an if. Let's do if post password. And we're going to do is not, so exclamation point equal is not equal to an empty string and we're going to do something and what we're going to do is actually create the part of the query that adds the uh, password so let's go ahead and create a variable called password and equals and we're going to use double quotes since we're going to create part of the query close that and we're actually just going to take this entire chunk out where it says password equals and get the space in there all the way to the comma cut that and we'll paste this here and now we need to add this though we're going to just put it right here So what's going to happen here is that if somebody did put something in the password field, it's going to create this variable called password, and it's going to be the part of the query that we need in order to add the password and encrypt it. And then we're going to echo it right here, right before status equals. However, if it's not set, then password really doesn't exist, and it does, that means it doesn't have a value. So when the update query runs it's just going to put out nothing right here so it's going to pretty much be as if it never existed so that way we don't accidentally override our password when we just wanted to go in and change a simple value like maybe change the first name or the last name um, otherwise we'd have to go in and retype our password every single time we want to edit something so that's no good so let's save that and let's test it out We'll go over to our page, and we'll go ahead and click on my name, and we'll just go ahead and add the number 2 to my first name, and we'll keep password empty. Click Save. User was updated. See the change over here. See the change here. And let's just really quick look over here at our password. We'll just kind of remember this... Uh, string here. I'm just going to remember it starts with a 5 and ends with an 8. Let's go ahead and click browse again. Cool. We did not affect our password. So now that's good.